All right, everyone, Rich at Rivera Urban Homestead. Welcome to another Saturday. Um, the project this weekend is getting back there in the chicken run and pulling out all the compost they've been making for like this past year. We're gonna dig it all out. We're gonna pile it on the side of the house by my compost piles, or by my compost bins I made out of pallets, which is another project. We need to clean the side of the house when we get over there. Um, so dig all that out. And then I'm gonna mow and I'm gonna weed whack and all of the green vegetation I get from that is going back in there to start the process over again in the run. So I have about three quarters of a bale of straw still and I have all the green I'll be getting from the garden. As you can hear, everyone's out doing yard work because it's finally not raining on a weekend. So everyone's yards are looking pretty crazy. So here's where the compost pile used to be before we started in the chicken run. And as you can see, I'm just starting to kind of turn it back up. I want to flip it around some and then we will add to the pile. Look at that right there. That's an avocado, I believe. Let me get a closer look. Right? I think it's an avocado growing out of my compost. A pit we probably threw in there. So we'll probably get, move that out of there safely and put it in a pot. But first thing I gotta do is I gotta scoop out whatever wood chips I have in my wheelbarrow and I gotta fix my wheelbarrow. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here's the issue with my wheelbarrow. It's plastic and the holes, the bolts ripped right through it. So now it just moves all over the place. So what I'm gonna do is drill a hole next to it and try and like zip tie it or something together. Cause once I put weight in here and actually try and move it, the whole thing shifts over real pain in the butt. It's a pretty new wheelbarrow too, so that kind of sucks. that works. Okay, I put a little straw down the other day just to kind of give them something to scratch around on. With all the rain we've had, all this stuff is really composted down a lot. So I'm going to move the straw all the way to the end, pick up some stuff, and then I'm just going to dig out about a wheelbarrow full of it to put into the compost pile. And then we'll just let the rest sit. We'll add the more straw, grass clippings. The process will begin again. He laid an egg. He laid an egg. What you got? Some eggs that the chickens um, 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 got us dumped in. Nice. And that is That's a big old pile of compost. Okay, so that's all I took out. One wheelbarrow full, guys. There is plenty left, but I'll just leave it in here. I'm gonna spread the straw back out, and then I'm gonna go mow out front and add all of the grass clippings in here as well. So they'll have a bunch of material to mess with.
All right, so we got plenty of brown and carbon in here. Now it's time to go cut the grass and put some nitrogen in here. Hello, little girl. Thank you. Do you want to go outside? Come on. Any lizards? All right, so let's go look how the recharged chicken run looks. Okay, so I dug out what I needed. I got a big pile on the side of the house. And now I added a bale of straw, three big bags of uh, grass clippings that I just mowed. Now all this will just get worked in and start composting naturally, along with the help of these girls. She just laid that egg right there. Just now. Look at her. She's still looking under there like, what in the world did I just do? <laughs> All right. Chicken run composting. The next session has begun. Man, I tell you, that stuff looks good too, guys. That compost. With that and the grass clippings you saw, I added a layer in the middle of the compost pile of grass clippings just to give it a little more nitrogen, activate it. Maybe it'll get a little warmer. And now what I'll do throughout the summer is I'll just add my food scraps into the pile of compost on the side of the house. I will give the chickens a bunch of the stuff, but the stuff I don't want to feed them will go in there. And that'll keep the rodent level down too if I compost it on the side inside the pile. Anyway, so now I got to go weed whack the garden because it just looks atrocious. That's coming up, guys. We have to start making new raised beds because that garden is needing a remodel. <laughs> All right, so let's check out what we got here. Boy, it was looking pretty crappy. I still got to trim bushes and stuff, but that's where all the grass came from, obviously, for the chicken run. Weed whacked around the beds. The beds are falling apart. Like I said, we're going to start building new ones, so. But, it looks good. Nice and mowed. Alright, so I'm not going to lie. After all that rain for those couple of weeks, and now the sun is out, it is hot and humid, muggy, whatever you want to call it. It was not very fun doing yard work, but we got it all done. We got the compost on the side of the house. We got the chicken run all set back up. I mowed, I weed whacked. It's about 1230. I'm getting ready to have some lunch and then we're going to go to our friend's house and get in the pool for a while and relax. So anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Oh, let me show you one last thing before we go. While I was out in the garden weed whacking, I said, let me get the rest of the carrots. So let me just show you the little baby carrots I got. Looky there. Not too bad, huh? Nice purples and yellows. Those are going to be good in some food. Oh, All right, yeah. guys, well, thanks for hanging out with me this morning. Um, it was a hot one out there, but compost is very important. You really need compost in your <laughs> garden beds if you want to really get the best out of your plants. Compost is number one. So what are you growling at? I'm trying to do a video. Could you hush? So anyway, my compost has been in the chicken run, obviously. Now we have that big pile over there. We're gonna, I'll probably wind up covering it. I'll wet it all down really good, cover it, and then just kind of leave it, let it set for a while. When I have food scraps, I'll put them in the center of it and just let them compost in. And then in the fall, when it's time to plant our lettuces and all of our fall garden, we'll have some good compost to add to the beds. So that's it for today. I'm getting ready to go to the pool. I just ate, I took a shower, going to grab some beer, and I'm going to the pool. And we will talk to you guys later. Have a good day. What are you looking at? Is there anyone out there to bark at? Cat kisses. Cat kisses. <laughs>